Welcome to the next video in this declutter series. My name is Caitlin and I am doing a no by year. Part of that is including going through the makeup that I have and decluttering things, sort of remembering things that I have, trying to get more use out of stuff. So if that sounds like something that you want to continue to watch, then I hope that you will consider subscribing. Today, I'm going through all of my concealers, which I know you can't really tell, but this thing is quite tall. This is a ridiculous amount of concealers to have. I need to go through these and get rid of some. There's quite a few that are just straight up their own color and some that are just really old. I need to sort the situation out, so let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, wow. So these are all like brighteners, brighteners for under the eyes or just like only under eye concealers. Blemish, green color corrector. Up here are all packs and cream, like stick creams. And then these are all the liquid concealers, which it may seem like I have a lot of those, which I do, but I quite often will use a liquid concealer more so as a foundation or like in place of a foundation. I basically would just put it on my face where I need the most coverage, just do that instead of using foundation if I don't want to have makeup like all over my face so I know that this seems like a lot but since I'm using it in that way it's like concealer slash foundation which I also have a ton of foundation so that kind of doesn't really excuse why I have so many but <laughs> okay I think I'm gonna do the liquid concealers last just because I have so many of them and I just want to get, I don't know, I'm tackling them little group by little group, I guess. So let's first start with strictly like blemish concealers. So a green color corrector, I don't use this very often, but since it's the only one that I have, and just in case I ever need it, I'm going to keep this. And then my favorite blemish concealer right now is the NARS, what is it called? Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I have the shades Vanilla and Creme Brulee. Vanilla actually right now is like kind of too dark for me but when I blend it out on my face it's mostly okay and then this past summer I had gotten quite a bit of color on my face so I needed the creme brulee to sort of help darken the vanilla up I would like mix these so even though creme brulee does not match me right now I'm going to keep it in case I end up getting some color this summer. And then the two that used to be my favorite blemish concealer is the Makeup Forever Full Cover. I have the shades 4 and 5. I don't even know why I have 5. It's way too dark. I think maybe I started with 5. Although it is more kind of yellow. Hmm five I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to hold on to four for now 
it's been quite a while since I've used this last, but I'm going to keep it just in case. See if it makes me want to reach for it, and then I might just get rid of this at some point down the line. Alright, I guess I'll do these two. These kind of serve the same purpose since they're like creamy. This is the NARS. Does it even have a name? I don't know. It's just called vanilla. This is so old. I think it's just called concealer. I think maybe this was like the first iteration of the soft matte. It kind of has the same texture. Yeah, on the back of my hand, those are pretty much identical. So because this one is so old, I'm going to declutter this. And this is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Light Neutral 04. I use this on occasion, so I'm going to hold on to this for now. Alright, I guess I'll do the pot. These are the RMS Beauty Uncover Ups. I'm pretty sure I started with shade 22.5. My goodness, that is so, can you see, this is so old, and it's not the right color. It is so dark on me. I'm going to get rid of this. But then I also have the shade 22. This one is newer, but it's still just like not the right shade. Look how dark it looks. I don't even know why I got this. Maybe the shade that I really wanted wasn't in stock? I don't know. Some, sometimes I look back on the stuff that I've purchased and kept, even though it was completely the wrong shade, and I just think, why? Why? So I'm also going to get rid of this because that is just not the correct color for me. Ritual Defeat, the Ethereal Veil Concealer and Cover. This is in the shade Galatia? I don't know how to pronounce that. It's quite yellow, but sometimes that's okay. I haven't had this for very long. I'm going to see if I can get more use out of it. And then I also have the Glossier in shade G10, 11, and 12. Sometimes I think that 12 is even too dark for me, but definitely that means that 10 is. Look how drastically different a shade that, that is. I don't even know why I got this. It's like, Caitlin, why did you buy this? It's not the right, it's not even remotely the right color. So G10 I'm gonna get rid of. G11, I guess I'll hold on to that for now for like the summer. So G11 and 12 I will keep for now. This actually is another concealer that I like to use in place of foundation all over my face. All right, oh. under eye and brighteners. This Clarins Instant Concealer, it is so old. And the last time I tried to use it under my eyes, it just like, caked up like crazy and it didn't really blend out so I'm going to declutter this. This e.l.f. one flawless brightening concealer. I still use this on occasion. I'm trying to make my way through it so I'm going to keep it. This Maybelline one isn't even <laughs> open yet. It's one of the pink ones. I think I got this because I knew that that Giorgio Armar Armani What's it called? Giorgio Armani. The pink thing. Because I was almost done with that one, I think I got this in anticipation of replacing it. But I also still had this Becca one. Um, this one also is starting to get... The last time I used it, it didn't really blend out that nicely. 
So I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit longer and just try to get use out of it. And then I have a feeling I'm going to have to toss this before it's actually gone. But so these two I'm keeping. And then the last eye brightening one is the Makeup Revolution Eye Bright. Whoa, red is so separated. Focus. Can you see how separated that is? Ew. I feel like it kind of has a smell. Ugh. Okay. I think I'm going to get rid of this. I don't even know that I used it for very many uses. The Fit Glow yeah. Beauty. I have the shade C2 and C2.5. I think the first order that I placed, I got the shade C2. And it is just, it's too dark for me. But they don't have like a return policy. So I was kind of just stuck with it. Then the second order that I placed, I got the shade C2. That... Sometimes I can get C2 to work like on my face, but it's too dark for under my eyes. I'm going to hold on to C2 for now, but I'm going to get rid of 2.5. Right, Bare Minerals, Bare Skin, Shade Light. I think this is just going to come down to a lot of these are the wrong color. That was that one. It's just, it's, it's too dark. I'm going to get rid of it. Kosa's. I clearly went through a journey with Kosa's. I think I started with, so, okay, I have shades 1.5, 1, 2.5, 4.5. I think I started with 1, and it was too light for me at the time. Goodbye. But now it kind of looks like an okay color. So then, after I got shades 1, I think I got 4.5 to like mix them together to try to get use out of it. And then I got 1.5 <laughs> and then 2.5. So, okay. 2.5 in the summer is actually a pretty good match for my face, so that's 1, 1 1.5, 2.5, 4.5. 2.5 is perfect for me in the summer, that's clearly too dark. That one isn't even all that too light for me, so I think I'm going to keep 1, 1.5 and 2.5 for now. Is there a shade 2? I don't, I obviously don't need it though. Okay. And then I'm just going to get rid of 4.5 because that is just, that's ridiculous. That's way too dark for me. Pat McGrath. I think I had a similar issue with the colors for this because I think I started with one and it seemed too light. So then I went four to like mix them. And then shade two, I think is like the perfect color for me maybe. So one two, and four. Mm. I'm going to keep one and two. I think if I can sometimes mix them, it'll be an okay color for me, but four is just not the right shade. So four, no more, <laughs> and one and two, keep. All right, Kofi, Ice Ice Berry. This is fairly new to me. It's a little bit too dark for me, but I can usually make it work, or if I mix it with one that's lighter. Um, but I'm going to keep this. The ColourPop Pretty Fresh in the shade Light 40N. This also is sometimes too dark, but I like that it's much more of a neutral color. I really like this as an all over the face one. 
mixed with sometimes just like a little bit lighter of a shade of like another concealer but I'm going to hang on to this. Speaking of a lighter one that I tend to mix, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD in the shade 20. Although on the back of my hand it doesn't seem as light. It's kind of hilarious looking at these that like none of them look perfect. Um, but I'm gonna keep this for now. And the item beauties, again, I think I started with shade 200 and then went back for shade 100. 200 is just way too dark. That's 200. I also really don't like this packaging. It doesn't like squeegee off as much as it should. So that's 200, that's 100. For a while I was just mixing them. I guess I'm going to keep both of these for now. Just because sometimes when I have to mix the colors, I like that they're the same formula. Sometimes when you start mixing different formulas together, you quickly realize that they're not meant to mix. Um, but I like using this all over the face, so I'm going to keep both of these. The Milk Makeup in the shade 4N. This one also is one that I like using all over my face. It's right here. It's a little bit light. I don't really like using this under the eyes, but I don't often use many concealers at all underneath the eyes. I just don't like the way that it looks. I think my under eyes are just kind of too dry. So it just ends up looking cakey and just like not good, but I'm gonna keep this. Maybelline Fit Me. So I think I got these because they were meant to be the NARS Creamy Concealer like drugstore version and I really liked the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And so I think when I was finished with the tube of that that I had, I moved on to this. And again, it's so, so hard to choose colors. But holy crap, that is not even remotely close. So, shade 15. It's called Light. That does not look light. Like, I don't even know. Am I just way paler than I think that I am? I really don't know. Maybe, can I mix them? Okay, so, well, I think mixed together they make a little bit more of a believable color. The other one that I have is 05 Ivory. I don't know. I think just for now I'm going to hold on to these. If I find myself not using them at all, then I'll get rid of them, but for now, I'll keep them. Alright, e.l.f. the Hydrating Camo. That, gosh, this is fair beige. Hold on, I know I have another one. And Light Sand. Okay, so Light Sand, I think, is just not going to be it. too dark. And fair beige. Okay. Fair beige is an okay color, so I'm going to hold on to that, but the light sand one I'm going to declutter. Typology. This is the shade. What's the shade? What's the shade? Oh, fair. I think this is the lightest one that they have. So it's an okay shade. It's a little dark for me. I'm going to see if I get more use out of this. So I'm going to keep it for now. 
but it's kind of too dark. All right, the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. I really like the formula of this, but I have the shade Vanilla and it is too dark. So this is one that I have to mix with other things if I wanna use it, but I like the formula enough that I do that. So I'm going to keep this. Makeup Revolution IRL Finish. The shade C2. This was in like that the panic order that I placed from Ulta at the end of 2022. It's a pretty good color match for me and I like using this all over the face. I don't know have I used it under my eyes? I'm not sure but I'm gonna hold on to this and get more use out of it. The Thrive Buildable Blur in the shade light. This also is deceivingly dark. It did not seem like it was going to be that dark. I've barely been able to use this just because it's so dark, but I want to try to use it. So I'm going to try and find a good formula in a lighter color that I have to try and mix so that I can get more use out of that. And actually, as I'm looking, maybe this Flower Beauty one will be that. The um, Light Illusion. It's in the shade Ivory. That's it. So, I don't know. Maybe I can find a good way to use these two together. I haven't used this very many times, so maybe I'll get use out of these two together. The Born This Way, what is it, Too Faced? Natural Radiant Concealer. I have the shades Light Nude and Cool Medium. I don't think either of these are really the right color. Even that one is too dark. Um, and I never use these. I just don't even know that I can really get those to work with anything else, so I'm going to get rid of both of these. Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in the shade 1.5. That's just too dark. Too dark, a little bit orange, or maybe it didn't start out that orange and I've just had it long enough that that's what it is now. The Hourglass Vanish Concealers of the shade Birch and Silk. Silk and Birch. It's a pretty okay shade when I mix them together. These are super full coverage. So these are like a pull out all the stops to cover something. So I'm going to hang on to both of these. The Rose Ink Concealer in the shade 10. I love how neutral this shade is. And it's super full coverage. So I like that one. More for covering blemishes than like using all over. It can get pretty heavy pretty quickly. And then these two hide. I don't even, I had never heard of this before, but they were on Amazon for like half off or 60% off or something during Black Friday of last year. So I kind of went ham and I bought a bunch. Linen, vanilla, and then I bought the shade Honey as well, hoping to use it as like a liquid bronzer. So that's linen. Vanilla I think is just too dark. That's vanilla. That's linen. So I think I'm going to get rid of vanilla. Try to get more use out of linen. See if I can find a way to make it work for me.
So these are what I'm keeping and this is what I'm getting rid of. It doesn't seem like I'm getting rid of that many and it's because I'm not. <laughs> uh, but I'm okay with that. This wasn't necessarily so much of like paring things down to a minimalist amount. It was more of just clearing the things that I definitely do not use are like way too wrong a color for me and I really don't like the formulation. So although I'm not getting rid of very many, that wasn't what this was really about and I can live with that. So these are what I'm keeping. This is what I'm getting rid of. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this, go ahead and hit the like button. Leave a comment down below if you'd like and I will see you in the next one. Bye!